Today's horror manga dub and narration is Artificial Intelligence. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Matano Anji. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to Kichan VA. Check her out in the description below as well as pinned in the top comment. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling tale. Wait! Lisa, you can't be serious, can you? Please tell me you're not really going to jump! But despite his constant calls for concern, Lisa still climbed to the top of the metal fence. She said to him, Didn't you hear? AI make up 40% of the population in this country. Yeah, I know that. What about it? And you think that you're a human, Daiji? Of course I do. <laughs> I think that I'm a human too. But every AI in the world thinks, of course I'm a human. That's what they've been programmed to think. I don't know what to believe anymore. He slowly approached Lisa, saying, You're thinking too much. But there's a way to determine if someone is an AI. He paused for a moment, averting her gaze toward the metal fence and then announcing. And that's for them to die. Air plagued his entire face as he heard what Lisa was saying. Humans die, but AI won't. Their bodies will just be disfigured. He grabbed her, asserting. So what? <laughs> she paused for a moment, sweat dripping down her skin profusely, and then she hugged him, embracing him with her two arms. He stopped for a moment, not knowing what to say. She interrupted the silence with some words. If I do turn out to be an AI, all these feelings and choices of mine will have been a lie. If all the happiness and pain that I'm feeling is just code, what's even the point in living? Lisa, you're a human. We've always been together, even when we were kids. She turned away for a moment, and then she said, <laughs> You must know, AI can age like normal too. I've tried everything I can think of. Nothing else works. This is the only thing I have left to attempt. Doubting the past, doubting the future, questioning others, and even myself. I'm tired of it all. If I can die knowing that I'm a human, that's the way I want to go. Lisa! Please, don't stop me. All he could do is but watch as Lisa slowly climbed that metal fence toward the top. But when she finally got to the top, he said to her, Then let me jump with you! What? No way! Don't try to stop me! Tears streamed down her eyes. We've always done everything together, right? Let's keep it that way to the end. The two of them looked at each other solemnly as the wind began to pick up since they were at a tremendous height. He said silently, Here we go. Both of them shivering with fear, and then they jumped. Both of their bodies splattered against the stone, mangled completely. They didn't move as a substance poured out from their body that looked like blood. But then, all of a sudden, 
His body began snapping about everywhere as it raised up from the ground and corrected itself. His head completely upside down as he looked over at Lisa. She too was doing the same, her body rattling about everywhere as she let out a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus. Moto Surf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, and Tanya M. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.